It was kind of comforting to hear the Middle Earth theme playing as the movie company logos flashed across the screen. Although the beauty of J.R.R. Tolkien's fictional world appears here and there in the film, the movie's underlying tone is darker. The theme is the retaking of Erebor, homeland of the dwarfs. The once prosperous culture had started to decline when the king became obsessed with riches. His prized possession was a rock called the Arkenstone, which he considered a stamp of divine favor. When the fire-breathing dragon Smog steals it, the dwarves lose hope and scatter. But the wizard Gandalf challenges the king's son, Thorin, to reclaim the dwarves' heritage. Bilbo Baggins, a hobbit, joins the would-be liberators of Erebor. He is no longer the little homebody who hopes to avoid adventure. He's now seasoned and is one of the two major leaders, the other being Thorin, who accepts his default role by birth. Bilbo, on the other hand, leads by example. As a servant leader, he is not afraid to get his hands dirty and pitches in wherever necessary. Gandalf departs early on for a related mission, leaving the group to its own devices. Bilbo has vision. When the dwarves get lost in Mirkwood Forest, he climbs to the top of the trees and discovers they are closer to their goal than they think. Despite his positive qualities, it's uncomfortable to watch Bilbo still playing around with that magic ring that tends to corrupt its owners. He comes out okay but it was like Bilbo was flirting with fire. To be fair, Thorin also has his positive moments, especially as the film progresses. The movie exploits its 3D technology with a giant bee buzzing around, humongous spiders, and of course, Smog, the dragon. I noticed at least one decapitation and other strong violence, so you'll probably not want to bring your little ones. The film ends with these words, What have we done? Laying the foundation for There and Back Again next Christmas season. This is Steve Eastman reporting. (laughs) 